look at this last verse. This is what we want to focus our attention on. Where it said, neither is there salvation in any other. But there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. And just for a few minutes as we look at the clock, the time is going on by. Uh, we want to talk about the name. The name, the name. The songwriter said there's power in the name of Jesus. There's deliverance in the name of Jesus. There's salvation in the name of Jesus. The scriptures that we read said there's no other name that was given under heaven unto men whereby we must be saved. So as we look at the name this evening, and first of all, we want to look at the name on the natural side. We all have a name. You, uh, Everybody has a name. Uh, we don't know everyone by their name. That's a problem I have. Sometimes is remembering names. I remember the face, but I don't. Sometimes I don't remember the name. But we all have a name, and I was thinking about it like this: on the natural side, I remember in the scripture where it said concerning about how that Jesus oft time compared the uh, church, which is His body, to the husband and the wife. You see, when I met. My wife and we went and we uh, got a marriage license. We had to give our name. And when we got married, uh, you see, uh, my wife had to take on my name. You see, uh, in other words here, it's the same way as I said with the church. You see, Christ compared uh, the marriage the husband and wife with the church, which is his body. And as I was saying, uh, my wife had to take on my name. You know, she needs something when I leave here, or when she leave here. We have to have something on a legal document that connects us together. You see, there's a lot of people walking around today, but they are not connected. Uh, you see, uh, but uh, this is how that the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ uh, compared uh, his body with the husband and the wife. There have to be something legal. Uh, see, uh, we have to do that according to the law of the land. So we see here that Jesus' disciples, uh, Peter and John, uh, they were going up into the temple as we had read in the Bible. And here we find a man that had been lame from his mother's womb. Uh, if we think about it, uh, you see, this was uh, something that uh, the Lord had allowed to happen because he knew that his disciples were going to be passing by one day. And they were going to need uh, someone there that they may show the powers of God. And we find here Peter and John going up into the temple at the hour of prayer. I wonder, do you have a time set aside that we go to the Lord and just talk to him? You see, we talk to one another. We don't have no problem sometimes, but uh, uh, sometimes we fail to talk to the Lord, the one that's able to do Anything but fail. God is able. Uh, he can uh, heal our bodies. The Bible said by he was wounded for our transgression. He was bruised for our iniquity. Chastisement of our peace was upon him. And by his stripes, I believe the Bible let us know we are healed. Somebody needs some healing this evening. Uh, this is why uh, we're talking about the name. And there's power in the name of Jesus. There's power, that enough delivering power to deliver the whole world. So we see here as these men began to make their way to the temple, uh, 
uh, where they were going to uh, pray unto the true and living God. They knew where to go to get help. Uh, they knew who to ask for for help. Sometimes we don't know who to go to. Uh, uh, but somebody said, take it to the Lord in prayer. He, he always, uh, he's always uh, on the line. The older saints used to sing a song, said, call him up and tell him, what you want. He's his phone. His line is never busy. Uh, uh, he'll fix your problem this evening. I know somebody uh, needs some help. We all need some help in the time that we're living in. There's something always going on. Uh, and we need the hand of God upon us. Uh, but as we're looking at the name this evening, we said that Bible said that uh, there's no other name. Uh, given among men whereby we must be saved other than the name of Jesus. And we see here as uh, Peter and John went up to the temple and as they were passing by, amen, this man that were laid there at the uh, gate of beautiful, amen. You see this man, his parents probably, they were, uh, he was of a poor family and they barely, I know they had a struggle uh, down through the years, taking care of this um, a lame son, uh, amen. And I can imagine to myself, I was thinking like this. Uh, uh, when this little boy, when he was small, when he was a little child, when the other children were walking around, he could not walk. He, he had to watch the other children run and play, but he couldn't. And now we find him an old man. He's done grown up now, uh, uh, and he's still uh, lame. You see, we were all born in sin. The Bible said we were shaping in iniquity. Uh, and in sin did our mothers conceive us. So we were born like this man. Well, we were lame. Uh, and there was a time in my life I couldn't walk. I couldn't walk straight. I, uh, every time I tried to do something right, I always end up doing wrong. Uh, Ah, you see, because I was lame, needed some help. Uh, uh, we see this man here. He was laid there at the gate for that he made ask arms of the people that went into the temple. Uh, uh, but here on this day, I can imagine that when they put this man here, uh, uh, he didn't have no idea uh, that there, when they put him there and laid him there, he didn't have no idea uh, that the end, uh, before the end of the day, that he was going to be able to walk. Uh, amen. So I see him here. Uh, uh, when he saw uh, Peter and John coming along, uh, he thought, amen. He said, well, I know I can get something out of these men. Uh, but Peter, amen, fastened his eyes on him and said, look on us when he asked them here. Uh, man, amen. For some arms, amen. For some help, in other words, you need, and I need some help sometime. Uh, but you see, sometime, uh, the way God works here, amen, he do things in a different way, amen. You'd be expecting this, and he, I uh, sent this out of the way. This man didn't realize that he was going to be healed, uh, but he was laid there at the gate on the right day. Uh, uh, and I see Peter, amen, fasten his eyes upon him with John and look, he said, look on us. Uh, look here, uh, uh, praise God, because you see, uh, Peter realized, amen, uh, that they had received, amen, the power of the Holy Ghost. Uh, and you see, they trusted, they knew that the God that they were serving, uh, uh, that say he is able, hallelujah, to do anything. Uh, and he said unto them, so look on us now. Uh, and he gave heed unto them and they are expecting to receive something. Uh, you may not receive what you have in mind, but you're going to uh, receive that which you really need. Uh, Sometimes we don't know what we need. Sometimes the Bible let us know. Uh, say a man don't know how to pray because we don't know what to ask for sometime. Uh, but the spirit of God, amen, knows he makes the intersection for us. Uh, 
Uh, this man didn't know what to expect, but I see him here now. Uh, amen. He gave heed unto them, expected to receive something. Uh, and then Peter said unto them, to sell and go, I have none. Uh, you see here, Peter knew what uh, he didn't have in his pocket, uh, but he didn't know what John had in his pocket. So he just said, I have none, uh, but such as I have, give I unto thee. Uh, and he went on to say, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, uh, uh, the one that declared one day when he uh, rose up from the dead, uh, I believe Jesus declared, amen, and said, all power uh, have been given unto me in heaven and in earth. Uh, you see, Jesus have all the power. Uh, the songwriter said, there's power now uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, you see, the power of the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Uh, uh, the songwriter go on to let us know uh, uh, so he can break every chain. Uh, uh, Sometimes the saints of God uh, in the days that we're living in, uh, we are burdened down uh, and we are tied down. Hallelujah. Uh, amen. But I can see Jesus, uh, uh, the one that have all power. He declared it. Uh, amen. And it's in his hand. Uh, uh, you see, Peter, amen, said to the man, uh, in the name of Jesus Christ now, uh, uh, you see, when you call on his name, something got to happen. Uh, amen. You just can't talk about Jesus and something don't happen. Uh, amen. Just thinking about the goodness of the Lord. Uh, uh, if you can just get your mind on Jesus. Uh, uh, my pastor used to say, uh, man, the former pastor, uh, uh, he used to say, uh, we need to look away. Hallelujah. Uh, this evening, if you can just look away from yourself. Uh, amen. And look Toward the hills, I heard the songwriter said, uh, uh, which cometh my help, my help uh, uh, cometh from the Lord, the ruler uh, and the maker of heaven and earth. Uh, amen. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Uh, amen. There's power in his name this evening. Uh, amen. If you haven't tried him, it's a good time now. Uh, amen. To seek the Lord. Uh, amen. I believe the Bible let us know to so seek the Lord. Uh, uh, while he may be found, call upon him now, uh, uh, why he is near. Uh, amen. You see, Peter, amen, said unto this man, uh, uh, so take my hand now. Uh, amen. He reached down, praise God, uh, uh, and got this man by the hand. Uh, amen. We need to reach down sometime uh, and get somebody by the hand and lift them up. Uh, amen. And clear it in the name of Jesus. Uh, amen. So rise up from here now. Uh, amen. You've been down long enough. Praise God. Uh, his time now. Hallelujah. Amen. To get up now. Hallelujah. Amen. And beep out our father's business. Amen. We see here. Praise God. Uh, let me slow it down a little bit. Hallelujah. Like I said, it's impossible to talk about Jesus. Amen. You see, amen. It's hard to sit here. Amen. And talk about Jesus. Amen. Because you see, he put running in my feet. He put some joy down in my heart. Amen. Jeremiah declared one day, uh, I said, just like fire. Uh, amen. Somebody needs some fire this evening. Hallelujah. Uh, amen. You've been sitting down too long. It's time now. Hallelujah. Uh, amen. To rise up. Praise God. Uh, amen. His power now. Uh, amen. It's in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Uh, amen. There's no other power I know. Praise God. Uh, it's in the name of Jesus. And I see this man. Praise God. Uh, amen. When Peter and John reached down, got this man by the hand. Uh, amen. And lift him up when he rose up, praise God. Uh, amen. His anchor bone gained some strength. Uh, uh, can you think about it now? This man had been lame for all his life. Ah, uh, uh, but I see him now, praise God. Uh, amen. When Peter reached down and got him by the hand, ah, uh, uh, praise God. He lifted him up. Uh, amen. By the hand, and his anchor bone gained some strength. Ah, uh, uh, when this man began to walk, ah, uh, uh, praise God, he began to leap. Hallelujah. Uh, and I was thinking about it like this this morning. Hallelujah. Amen. You see, when I was wounded in Vietnam, amen, and I couldn't walk, praise God, for 
a whole year just about that Walter Reed on the hospital. Amen. And I believe when I went down, amen, to begin to take therapy. Ah, and when I first took my first step, amen, I felt so good down in my heart. Amen. Because I thought I'd never be able to walk again. Amen. I know how this man felt when he took that first step. Amen. Joy filled his heart. Amen. He began to leap, praise God. Ah, because that he could walk this evening. Amen. You and I, praise God. Ah, we have the same privilege. Amen. Because the Bible let us know. Amen. So there's power. It's in the name of Jesus. There's power in the name of Jesus. In other words, there's healing in the name of Jesus. Amen. Everything that we need. Amen. It's in the name of Jesus. Amen. And you see, just because, amen, Peter and John, they were preaching, amen, the name of Jesus. Amen. These people did not like it. Amen. It's something about the name. Amen. It's something about the name. Uh, it's something I say about the name of Jesus. And they didn't like this, praise God. Amen. Because you see, they had crucified. Amen. Our Lord and Savior Jesus the Christ. And here he had risen from the dead. They thought they had gotten rid of him. Amen. But you see, some people might think they done got rid of you and I. Amen. But I'm still here. Amen. I might fall down over here. You might see me go down. Amen. But if you keep looking, you're going to see me rise up again. Why? Because I got my hands in the hands of the master. Amen. But we see here, amen, they even arrested these men uh, for preaching the name of Jesus. Uh, you see, you're going to be persecuted when you take a stand for Jesus. Uh, if you don't have no, amen, rule, no uh, governing over your, amen, life, amen, you just might do anything. But when you preach, amen, Jesus, amen, everybody's not going to stay with you. Uh, somebody may walk away from you, but that's all right. Amen. The Bible said, amen, I, I, I got Jesus on my side, the songwriter said. Amen. Somebody may ask you, what's the matter with me? Uh, just tell them I'm saved and I'm sanctified. Holy Ghost feel and I'm fire, you're baptized, and I'm running for my life. Uh, amen. You see here, uh, these men took and uh, put them in prison. Amen. Why? Because they was preaching the name of Jesus. Uh, this is what we have to do today is preach the name of Jesus. Amen. But Peter, amen, and John, let them know. Amen. Concerning about the Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ. Uh, amen. So the one that you said, amen, wanted to make nothing out of. Uh, uh, God have raised him up from the dead. Amen. Many people don't think much about the Lord today. Amen. But the same Jesus, hallelujah, uh, uh, they began to let them know, say, you rejected him. Uh, uh, but God had raised him up. Uh, amen. But you see, hallelujah. Uh, amen. They went on to let them know. Uh, amen. Said, so this is what, amen, made this man whole. Uh, they wanted to know, amen. Uh, and what uh, authority did you have uh, to make this man, amen, able to walk again? Uh, it was nothing that they did. Uh, uh, but with the power of the Holy Ghost, huh? amen, they went on to let him know, said the same Jesus that you crucified, huh? amen, this is the one, the one that you rejected, huh? and they went on to let him know, praise God, huh? and it says so there is neither, amen, there is no salvation in other name, but in other name given unto heaven huh? among men, whereby we must be saved. Is the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus, hallelujah, is a strong tower. I see the righteous now. Amen. They run into it. We do not run away, but we run into it. Amen. And they are saved. Amen. This is a good time now. Amen. To accept the name of Jesus. As I said, amen, Jesus compared to church his body uh, with the husband and wife. Amen. When my wife and I got married, she took on my name. I wonder this evening, you under the sound of my voice as I see the time is gone. Amen. Have you taken on the name of Jesus? Amen. Have you been buried with him? Hallelujah. Amen. Do you identify with him? Amen. In order to go back with Jesus when he come. Amen. We must identify with him. 
when I leave here, amen, my wife got to have something with her name that's connected to my name. Amen. Then she'll be able to receive everything that belongs to me. Amen. Are you ready to see him? Amen. The song, right as I say again, there's power in the name of Jesus. Amen. We trust this evening that you have received.